30. This is a TV program that's filled with many miracles. In fact, it's also like a church service, only that it's on television. And the Holy Spirit will minister to you so personally into your living room today. According to the theme of the day, not by my strength, we do not need our own human self-effort. Just relax and follow this program. And as long as you believe what God is speaking to you, the Holy Spirit will flow to your body, bringing healing and life. In fact, I don't need to make anything happen. Because where Jesus is, there is Genesis. All things new will be created and all good things are happening. Please stay tuned with me because the next half an hour will be the most miraculous 30 minutes of your life. Your life will surely be changed. And before 30 minutes pass, your sins will be forgiven, your sicknesses will be healed. The Bible says, not by might, not by power, but by my Holy Spirit, says the Lord. And I shall give you a new miracle today. Woo! Semua bertemu tangan di atas kepala, come on! Semua kadang-kadang. What 
My dearest viewers, I do not need to make anything happen. This I must clarify because Jesus, He is going to make things happen for you. And today, I'm so relaxed in my spirit. I know that I don't even need to pump anything, don't even need to push for anything because the Holy Spirit will flow into you. And it is not by might, not by power, not by human effort. It is by the Holy Spirit. I depend solely on the Holy Spirit in my ministry. So let us now check on the scriptures we're going to read. Found in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. It says here, this is what the Lord says. Cursed is the one who trusts in men, who depends on flesh for his strength, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. He will be like a bush in the wastelands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. Not by my strength. How do we not depend on our own strength so that we could have more of God, more of Jesus? Unfortunately, we do not have any physical skill that we could measure whether we are now living by the Spirit or still living by the flesh. But we could surrender though, because verse 13 says that a man who trusts in his own flesh is cursed because his heart turns away from the Lord. So do just the reversal. Just do what's the opposite. Turn your heart and my heart to the Lord in surrender. That way we know that we are living by the Spirit of Jesus, not by our own strength. And as we surrender to Jesus, be open for Him to teach you new things. That's what surrender is all about, isn't it? We really give up completely our own way so that he's, He will have His way in us and through us. And Jesus' way is always higher than our way. And His plan is much higher than ours. So be open to Him. Instead of clinging to your own strength and fail in the end, why not give His strength a try? Even though when He does something new in your life and my life, we, couldn't, we don't comprehend at first. But keep surrendering, yes. And Jesus could even use a drastic measure to erode and purge 
this flesh from our spiritual life. That traditional thinking, that unbelief that is well covered with what seemingly, what seems to be like faith at first. But Jesus wants us to trust Him solely, completely, wholeheartedly. And He could, he could see so deeply within us that which we couldn't see ourselves. He knows us better than, our, than we know ourselves. So allow Him to even use a, any drastic measure to teach you submission to His will. And I've got a testimony I can share with you about how Jesus purged my flesh. How He really taught me something, quote unquote, really shocking to me. I was in Taiwan one day. If I'm not mistaken, in the year of, nine, in the year of 2008, and as I was about to hold this international gathering of tens of thousands of people, or at least thousands and thousands of souls, bringing many sick people would be found among the crowd. And all these cameras from every different TV station in the, China, in the Chinese world that would be watched by billions of people, supposedly. I, and something else happened. In, in a dream, before, just before I woke up, Jesus appeared to me saying to me, My son, I'm going to teach you a new way. I'm going to teach you to surrender and to submit to my will. Today, I'm going to do all the job. You're going to just stand there and watch my glory. And then I was taken in my dream to a very beautiful place, heavenly pretty. And I was there amazed by this, this, this sight in front of me. And Jesus took me to a restful place to rest my soul within me. And then He said, I'm going to use you today, but not according to what you think is best. And then I, I woke up. As I opened my mouth, I found myself completely mute. I couldn't even make any sl slightest and any softest noise from my mouth. I, I could pronounce words, but there's no voice out of me at all. Something blocked my throat, and yet I know it wasn't the devil's doing. It was the Holy Spirit teaching me to be quiet, be still, and know that He is God. And I thought, well, tonight, as I'm going to appear and stand before the crowd, I know the voice will come back. I thought praise and worship was going on, and I was summoned to the, to the stage. Before me were thousands of people, and I still couldn't speak, yet I was so calmed down. I was restful on the inside. Jesus had really spoken true, true words to me, that He rested me. He led me beside the still water. He put my soul to such a beautiful rest. And I had to write my sermons. It was the, the, the most basic gospel I could ever preach, or anyone could ever preach. Jesus loves you, loves me, this I know for the Bible tells me so, kind of gospel, very easy, A, B, C. And I said to the people, Jesus died for them, and on the third day, He rose again. If they believed in Him, they would be saved, they would be healed, just like that. And then, I asked the people to just stand up after 15 minutes of my preaching. I just wrote my, my sermon, and somebody translated into Chinese for me. So I wasn't even preaching, I was writing my sermon. It was just, and only for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And people stood up on their feet. And I asked somebody to lead the worship because I couldn't sing. And the moment he sang, the Holy Spirit worked in such a way, all the mute in the building could speak. The deaf could hear. And I was amazed, I was standing there saying nothing, but seeing everything. Then people start falling under the power of the Holy Spirit, starting with them who were standing with me on the stage. And the worship leader couldn't lead the worship anymore because he was so filled with the Holy Spirit and I had to lay hand on him and he fell backward onto the floor under the power. Then God opened my mouth. My voice came back completely and holy. The first two words that came out of my mouth were, Holy Spirit as I sang a song about Him. What a beautiful night. 
and the news spread so quickly in the Chinese world. And people had been talking about this. They were saying that this Jesus, that this preacher talked about, in fact, he didn't even speak anything. He wrote and somebody else had to read his writing. This Jesus, this must be, he must be real because the preacher didn't do anything. He was the one walking among the crowd, healing the sick. Remember, these were news reported by the secular media, by people who didn't believe a thing about God. Or even if they did, they believe in gods. They believe in many gods, not only one. And surely not Jesus, this Westerner's God, they said. But God, Jesus became so famous afterwards, out of my muteness, when I do not rely on my own strength. When I am weak, He is strong. When I'm poor, he is rich. He doesn't make me mute every day though, thank God. But that was such a drastic measure to preach the gospel, wasn't it? And that was such a drastic measure to teach his servant, me, to, to learn to trust more on him than on myself. Can you imagine if Michael Jordan lost both his hands and before a, a final match, in, in an NBA, in NBA Finals, that would be unthinkable. People would say he would definitely lose, lose the game. He, would, he wasn't even supposed to be in the game, but then God is marvelous. God has, God's way is not imaginable. And I didn't expect things like that came to me, but then it came for one purpose, to teach me and to teach all the Chinese world that Jesus doesn't need anybody. He needs no flesh to let His Spirit work. If He chooses to use us, that's a privilege for us. If He chooses to use us, that is His choice because He loves us. And He wants to bless you also. I'm restful now on the inside. I know the anointing is flowing to your living room now, touching every sick body. Even as I'm speaking now, God is working. Ooh, I, can, I know that people started getting healed right now. Yes, many mute people started, now start speaking. The deaf start listening, hearing voices, hearing noises, and the blind start seeing in Jesus' name right now, receive all these blessings. Not by my strength, what a blessed revelation, what a blessed truth to trust in Jesus. Let's read verse 7 and 8. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. He'll be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. The Lord calls everyone who trusts in Him blessed. No matter what the outcome of your problem, you are blessed anyway and He's determined to bless you. Why shouldn't we trust in our own strength? Simply because we humans fail. Why do we trust in His strength? Because our God never fails and He's about to bless you. Please open your heart and He's gonna enter and bringing all those blessings that you have prayed for Him so earnestly, He's going to save you, change you, and forgive you. Oh,
耶稣透过他的圣灵，现在就在我们当中。你全心的相信的时候，圣灵就会进到你的生命的里面来触摸你的生命，圣灵就要来触摸你的生命，要来改变你。是怎样走？现在呢？现在怎么样走？现在，来，来，来，来！你把你的那个耳朵以前会听的就关关关掉，好、哦，你你跟着我说，好不好？哈利路亚！哈利路亚！感谢主，感谢主。以前走路怎么样？给我看。以前，以前，哦，现在不不，现在不行啊，因为以以前哪哪只脚比较比比较长？这个。现在呢？现在走路怎么样？给他们看。好好,好，呃，怎么样？怎么听？在里面的就是哇，他他,他比我还要厉害，<笑>我害羞啊，我还不会国语，他有，他好好棒。你你刚才听听到什么？就是里面有里面有听到咔咔，我我很喜欢听你说咔咔哎，你咔咔啊，哈利路亚。结果他就眼睁睁看着他的右脚本来比左脚还要短就长出来了，他现在的腰也完全都不痛。By my strength, now it's the time for you to receive something from Jesus. I don't want you to try, not even push anything, nor make anything happen. Just believe, just relax and believe, just receive. Because when you just believe, you will see His glory. Pray with me together. Agree with me in prayer. Stretch your hands towards the screen in front of you. Let's call on upon the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. We want to forsake human strength. 
and welcome your power. We want to welcome your Holy Spirit because it's not by our might nor power, but by your Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, come. Come into every home of people who are watching our program right now. In Jesus' name, you be in the midst of them. Lord, touch people where they hurt the most. You are a good God. We do not rely on our own understanding. So we want to see your miracle today. We are hungry and thirsty of you. Lord Jesus, thank you. Right now, Lord, send your anointing. Touch everybody who's expecting. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name right now, I want to speak by faith that every cancer be gone. I'm sensing God's special, strong anointing against cancer, even right now. My body feels like there's so much electricity. I can't describe what I'm feeling now, but it's, this is it's not just a feeling. This is God revealing His strength, His power for His beloved children and for those people who are in need. God has compassion on you. Receive this miracle. In Jesus' name, cancer, tumors, malignant cancer and tumors. In Jesus' name, be dry to the root. In Jesus' name, be gone, disappear. Right now, I rebuke you. And now I'm also feeling a very strong anointing for, the, for, for healing depression. Every depressed soul right now, in Jesus' name, be set free. Somebody has a loved one who's insane. He's been admitted into the hospital more than a few times but now he's out of the hospital and you desire for that person's healing he's your loved one in jesus name now agree with me something clicks i feel I, i'm hearing now a click in my head god also causes that click in his head right now in the name of jesus something goes right something goes right in his brain in his soul and god takes away his depression once and for all be healed this instantly there is healing go and check on that person at this hour, at this moment, at this, at this minute, that person is well because Jesus says so and He has healed him. In Jesus' name, all glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, God bless you. I just, I'm just so happy for everyone who's just received something from Jesus. And Jesus is good. I want you to really, really hold on to this truth and this revelation. From now on, do not live by your own strength not by the flesh, but by the Spirit, by the strength of Jesus. Every day, renew your love to Him because His love is always new every morning for you. God bless you, and I will see you again very soon in the next episode. Bye now.